The trumpet is a diverse instrument, which thousands of musicians play. From solo work. To classical work. And finally to commercial and jazz work. These thousands of trumpet players look up to professional trumpet players in order to get inspiration on how to tackle certain music or to be entertained and amused by their outstanding playing. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 trumpet players you should know. Number 10 Doc Severinsen. Doc Severinsen is primarily an American jazz trumpeter. Doc started playing trumpet at a very young age and won state competitions starting at the young age of nine. He had very little professional training and managed to jump into big bands right after coming back from World War II. He toured with the famous Benny Goodman band. After performing with various big bands, he eventually led the Tonight Show band on NBC. He then went on to record a lot of tracks. Severinsen still teaches very rarely, but can still shred on a trumpet at the age of 92. Number 9. Alan Vizzuti Alan Vizzuti is the most epic trumpet player ever. Alan Vizzuti does it all. He plays very technical solo works, very lead-heavy jazz pieces, is a composer, and even a teacher. He has been a professor at universities all across the United States, and has performed all across the world in over 60 countries with many famous ensembles and other trumpet players. Vizzuti is known for his astounding technique. Number 8. Alison Balsam Alison Balsam is an English trumpet player that specializes in a lot of Baroque music. She started taking trumpet lessons at the age of 7 and studied at the Guildhall School of Music. Allison is one of the most well-known natural trumpet players to date. Balsam has performed all over the world in a variety of ensembles including performing for the BBC and the principal trumpet of the London Chamber Orchestra. She is only 40 years old and is a hug advocate for performance of early music. She was even appointed as an officer of the Order of the British Empire for services to music. Number 7 Maynard Ferguson Maynard is a Canadian jazz trumpeter and band leader. Before Maynard became a huge trumpet player name, he dropped out of high school to pursue a music career and won a scholarship to Conservatoire de Musique du Québec en Montreal and studied with Bernard Baker. Maynard eventually found himself playing in a Stan Kenton jazz orchestra. After finding much success with Kenton, and made his own band the Birdland Dream Band which is one of the most famous big bands of all time. Maynard was always performing with huge bands and orchestras, and teaching. He will always be remembered for his solos and ability to play in the upper register of the instrument. Number 6. Maurice Andre Andre followed his father's profession and worked as a coal miner until he won a scholarship through a military band to study at the famous Paris Conservatory of Music. After his time in Paris he became mostly known for his piccolo trumpet playing and specialized in Baroque music. Throughout his career Andre transcribed many Baroque pieces for piccolo trumpet, that were originally written for oboe, violin, and voice. When Andre retired from trumpet in 2004, he had released over 300 recordings, more than any other classical trumpet player. Number 5. Wynton Marcellus Wynton is one of the most popular modern trumpet players. His diverse style of playing in all genres such as jazz and refined classical music, sets him apart. He is the head of the Lincoln Jazz Center. Marsalis is also the solo piccolo trumpet heard every Sunday morning on, CBS Sunday Morning. Marsalis even has 10 Grammy Awards. He won the Echo Classic, Germany's major classical music award, as Instrumentalist of the Year in 2002. Number 4 Sergei Nekaryakov Sergei is a virtuosic trumpet player that was a child prodigy. Born into Soviet Russia there was an immense amount of pressure on him to beat any well-known American trumpet players. He recorded his first solo CD at the young age of 15. 
He performs with major ensembles around the world and frequently performs with the Prague Philharmonic Orchestra. Number three, Louis Armstrong. Louis overcame extreme poverty and became one of the most influential jazz musicians of all time. Louis Armstrong pioneered the type of singing called scat, which is when one sings nonsense words to fit into the melody of the piece. Although this style had been used before his famous song Hebe's GB's that brought the style into the spotlight. He is considered the first great jazz soloist by many people and his solos are still studied immensely. Number 3. Phil Smith Phil Smith started playing cornet at the age of 8 and was taught by his father a cornet virtuoso, Derek Smith. He studied at Juilliard and in his final year was accepted as the fourth trumpet in the Chicago Symphony Orchestra. After his time at Chicago he joined the New York Philharmonic in 1978 as co-principal in 1978 and then principal in 1988, and held it until he retired in 2014. He is now the trumpet professor at the University of Georgia. Before our number one pick here are some honorable mentions. Jazz musicians include, Wayne Bergeron, Miles Davis, and Dizzy Gillespie. Classical musicians include, David Guerrier, Timothy Dockschitzer, and Eric Abie, extra Rick Sanchez. Oh, there's not enough room for all my genius, so I'm leaving you with my fear of wicker furniture, my desire to play the trumpet, my tentative plans to purchase a hat, and six years of improv workshops. Comedy comes in threes. Number one, Jean Baptiste Arbin. Jean Arbin is the most epic guy ever because he wrote our holy book for trumpet, Arbin's complete conservatory method for trumpet. <laughs> Now, this is epic. Arbin was also a professor at the Paris Conservatory of Music. His arrangements of pieces like Carnival of Venice and Fantasy Brillante are very virtuosic and well known as huge accomplishments to play. There are many more trumpet players that you should know and could have made the list. Did we miss any or disagree with the list? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to drop a like, share, subscribe, and turn of the bell for post notifications. See you in the next video. What? You never played trumpet simulator.